really cool late surprise. Got a call two days ago. A friend of mine, Kurt J.C. Richardson, said he had a mule deer, a Utah mule deer tag available on some private ranch and asked if we were free. And I uh, quickly cleared the schedule and here we are. Got some snow on the ground. It is cold. It feels twice as cold coming from Kansas where it was still in the 70s, so. Take a minute and get some feeling back, but always feels pretty sweet to be out west. Uh, especially when we thought we were done out here. Got to hunt elk in September. Went back home and plan on chasing whitetail for the rest of the year. Kind of a late, uh, late gift slash blessing for us to come out. So pretty cool. And it's a rifle hunt, which means we can reach out there and touch them. So we've seen moose and seen some deer. First morning, getting after it. Adam spends day one getting a lay of the land, and a good look at several bucks. With only three days to hunt, let's hope his patience pays off. With the light failing and no shooters in sight, they head for home. Most places 
guess that's a no-brainer. You know, I know you guys get really spoiled up here. We do. Killing 200 inches. <laughs> After some thought, they decide to keep looking for deer and hope that they're not getting too greedy. Well, we'll try again tomorrow. Saw a lot of deer, a lot of bucks, but no cigar. It's gonna be freezing in the morning. Another last day hunt. Do what you gotta do. Don't worry about me. This is our last day, Mikey. Well, Tanner's buddies came up, glass for us today, and spotted the buck we've been looking for. Oh yeah, we got a good beat on him. We haven't seen him yet, but pretty good idea where he's at. It sounds like he's hauling from about probably a mile and a half away. But he said he's 90% sure that that's the buck we've been looking for. We scoured the whole back side of this country, kind of away from this buck's home because he just hadn't been here for a few days. But sure enough, he's right where he's been. I guess for the last three years, he's just been a ghost. It took a 15 degree morning to get him to surface. But man, we got all day to, to make this happen. So we go get eyes on him, see what he looks like. It's late in the morning and Adam and Tanner still haven't found the group of bucks they've been watching. In a twist of fate, the boys spook a doe which in turn jumps the bucks up. The only problem is they're on their feet and moving away fast. Which side of the spine is he on? Oh, I got you. I got him. I lost him. Huh? Yeah. Oh, 
keep changing. Because his target keeps moving, Adam has to constantly rearrange and adjust his scope. I got one. I got a cedar that's above him. The biggest buck in the group finally gets curious enough to stop and see what all the fuss was yeah. about. Something, boys. Stay right there for a second. Which way do you run? He's right where he was at. Guns on safe. Negative. Put it on safety, please. Come on, he died. Oh, you see him down? No way. <laughs> I heard a thump, but I didn't know if it was a tree or rock or... It had to come in, yeah, it had to come in, right? How about that for a hunt? Good shot. Hey, good, good calls on the range. Good work, dude. <laughs> well, that's you guys scouting as much as you do. Again, Western Lands Outfitters. 100,000 acres, which would be overwhelming and take a month to hunt and figure it out if you guys weren't up here all summer, like putting in the miles and having a handful of bucks that, you know, the guys can go after. So you make it a lot easier and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Kurt, thank you, my friend. Next hunt's on me. We'll do a squirrel hunt in Kansas. I'll pay you back. <laughs> you see the vapor trail coming in the top right corner oh, yeah. of the screen? Right there. It enters. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> Baby. Big old slob. We we're not even gonna be here as of a week ago. Kurt, JC, very much appreciated. 
Cannot thank you guys enough, man. Got a last minute invite. Was able to do it. Mikey and I loaded up. Western Lands Outfitters. You ought to come check it out. My man Tanner, my new, my new friend Tanner. Yeah, this is the fourth, fourth year we've seen this deer. Um, this is always a dead giveaway. You know, we've always had pretty good mass up here. This, this front tine's been a little short, you know, depending on the moisture, but he's a warrior. I mean, the region we're in, we lost 60% of our five and six year old deer this year. So yeah. to kill a deer like this is, is something in itself. Yeah. You know, to, to have a deer live through all those years and, and then make it through the winter and still come back to the same spot where he's lived for four years. Pretty, pretty cool deal. It's rewarding. I'm, I'm not gonna act like I'm just a meat hunter. I love horns as much as anybody. But more than anything, I love chasing the old elusive deer that have just been around forever and don't screw up too often. And we about screwed it up. We got caught. With our pants down, literally. Up there screwing around and look up and nowhere near, we, we weren't even in sight of this buck yet. And a doe pops us. She gets a little nervous and of course runs right down to him and drags him. Might have been out of the country because she, you said she disappeared over the She went up over the top of the drainage, yeah. And so he was making his way that way and fortunately got curious as to what he was running from. Scared. Here, give me this one. Oh. 